If you think you have a roof leak or you know you have a roof leak, then this video is for you because we're going to talk about the most common problem areas that result in roof leaks. Three, two, one. Here we go! First step to fixing any roof leak is to determine you have a roof leak to begin with. In some cases, it's blatantly obvious, no doubt about it. In other cases, you might only have subtle indications such as staining or discoloration on your ceiling. The hard part is to determine exactly where that roof leak is coming from. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about the five most common areas where we find roof leaks. Plus, I'm going to tell you about one area that you might think is a roof leak, but in fact, it's not. Let's get started. First up is missing or damaged shingles. Missing shingles are usually pretty obvious. Let's say a storm blows through town, it blows some shingles off your house, you're probably gonna notice. It might have leaked during that storm, but it'll definitely leak in future storms. Damaged shingles can be a little trickier. Uh, what we see often is big mature trees that have grown up and over a home and they've rubbed those shingles to the point where it's created a leak. So first is missing or damaged shingles. Number two is chimneys, and let me tell you, chimneys can be tricky. We have problem areas that occur on the tops of the chimneys, on the sides of the chimneys, at the base of the chimney, pretty much all around the entire chimney itself. For masonry chimneys, we see that the mortar cap on top of the chimney will often deteriorate over time and crack and cause a leak. The sides of the chimney as well, the mortar between the bricks and the stone will deteriorate over time, and those can be leak points. If your chimney is siding, what we see is that over a long period of time, the siding itself can deteriorate and cause a leak, but more often than not, the trim pieces and the caulk around those trim pieces will deteriorate, which allows water to get in and creates a leak in your chimney. The other issue with chimneys is the flashing that goes all the way around it. Now, you have different flashing for a masonry chimney versus a chimney that's encased in siding, but both of them can be problem areas if they're not properly installed. So chimneys can be very difficult and you definitely need to make sure that your chimney isn't the source of the leak if the leak is anywhere in the vicinity of the chimney. So the third area and probably one of the most common sources where we find roof leaks is around roof jacks and pipe boots. Unfortunately, many new home builders or other roofing companies try to save a dollar on the roofing accessories and they put on low quality pipe boots, which are made of a rubber material that ultimately become deteriorated from the sun and they crack and they leak. The sad part is that for only a few extra dollars, they could have purchased a higher quality material which would have lasted 20, 30 years. That is one of the reasons why accessories matter and we personally only use lead pipe jacks because they are going to last much longer than the roof and the shingles themselves. So number four is roof vents and skylights. For the roof vents, if it's a static vent that has no moving parts, we usually never see any issues. What we do see issues is if you have a turbine or a whirly bird and it gets blown off during a storm, you have a, an eight, 10, 12, or 14 inch hole in your roof that's definitely gonna leak. As far as skylights are concerned, if they're plastic skylights or a, a plastic material, they can become cracked over time. Um, or even if it's not plastic and it's a high quality glass, the actual seals around it and the caulking can wear out over a long period of time and create a leak. So number five on our list of common roof leak areas is sidewall flashing and valley flashing. We usually don't see problems with this in new construction. It's usually after the roof has been replaced, in some cases many years after the roof has been replaced. The sidewall flashing has to be replaced during a re-roof because if it doesn't, the metal itself has hundreds of nail holes in it that are ultimately going to allow water to find their way in. And the same is true for valley flashing. So the actual metal flashing itself has to be replaced or a suitable alternative has to be used during a reroute. When it's not, it may be years later, but that will develop a problem spot and you will have roof leaks in those areas. Now let me tell you about the one area that you might think is a roof leak, but in fact it's not, and that's your air conditioning unit. If your air conditioning unit is in your attic, the air handler is in the attic, it will have a drip pan that sits underneath it. 
that drip pan has a drain that drains to the outside of your house. So any condensation or moisture that accumulates on the air conditioning unit will fall into the pan and drain outside of your house. Or at least that's how it's designed to work. Well, in some cases that drain will get clogged. If that gets clogged and your air conditioning unit is running a lot and creating a lot of moisture and humidity that is dripping into the pan, well, the pan's gonna overflow at some point and that's gonna put spots and stains on your ceiling. The key to determining this is, has it or has it not rained? Uh, we see this oftentimes and, and there hasn't been rain in weeks, so that's the biggest indicator to us to, to tell the, the, the caller, hey, first, go check your AC unit, make sure that's not what it is. Um, but that is a source that a lot of times people just think, well, I have a roof leak because it's coming from the ceiling, when in fact it could be the AC in your attic. Hey, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, just ask me below or reach out directly and I'd be happy to answer them. Take care.